Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess with Jess's Magical Memoirs. And today, as you can see, I have a ton of sticker books here in front of me on my bed. We are going to be doing a sticker de-stash for this month since July is right around the corner. We're basically halfway done with the year and you girls got to get rid of some more stickers. So if you want to see what I'm de-stashing today, stick around because that's coming up right now. Hey Plenty Fam, welcome back to my channel. And like I said today, we are going to be doing a huge uh, sticker de-stash. <laughs> right in front of me, as you can see, is a bunch of Happy Planner stickers. This is not all of them, but these are kind of like my main stickers that I keep close to me. I also am probably going to be de-stashing some of my Disney stickers and some other extra stickers that I have lying around. This might be a two-part video. I don't know. We'll see how quickly I can do this, but you girls got to get rid of some stickers. Like it's time. July is coming up really quickly. That means it's going to be halfway through 2023. I have ordered some new stickers as of recently, and I would really like to get a couple more. So before I do that and those come in, I really need to start getting getting rid of some stuff. Behind me, I actually have another box. Those are some dated older stickers that I was keeping on hand just for like extra backup, but I honestly haven't touched them. So I might just get rid of that entire box and move some of these to there. So we'll see how this works out. I'm not very good at this. This is not easy for me. I just wanted to say hi and let you know like basically what's going on and what we're really going to be looking at. I'm sorry about the really bad lighting. I just have you guys on selfie mode right now. It's the best way to do these kind of videos for me until I figure out a better, a better way. I, I need to get a camera at some point with like a flip. So hopefully sometime in the future that will come. But for now, we're still recording on my phone. I am going to flip you guys around though and do most of this de-stash with, you know, me doing this without you looking at my face and you seeing the stickers. So without further ado, let's just get into all this craziness. <laughs> okay, so these are my three main bins. I have them labeled. We've got seasonal and girls, newest or most loved, and then florals, uh, travel and quotes. So that's basically how I organize my three main bins. I have an extra bin right over there that has like older sticker books that I wasn't ready to like get rid of yet. So they kind of go from here <laughs> to over there and then sometimes over there or in there. <laughs> um, in here, I do have some like off-brand stickers, like Recollections, Michaels, my Passion Planner stickers are in there, Live Love Posh, and then a bunch of boxes. Uh, box sticker books. Over here is my Disney stuff. Like I said, maybe we'll do that either in this video or in a separate video. But right now I just need to really go through these. The one that's probably the easiest for me to go through would be this florals and travel in quotes, just because they're probably the least used between these three bins <laughs> or boxes. So we're going to tackle this one first and then we'll move on to the others. All right, so the way I usually do this is I just go through one by one, flip through it and decide whether or not I'm gonna use it. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Usually my sticker de-stashes take me quite a while. So plan on this possibly being a long video. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go in order. I have all of these, um, like I keep them in alphabetical order. So this first one is a super old color story. This is a big, these quotes are pretty. <laughs> like see, like I flip through things and I don't even realize I have it. Guys, I don't even think I touched this. Oh, I did. I touched one section. Okay, I definitely don't think... I bought this sticker book for this kit, this like really pretty wild plans, like little like color story, but I don't think I need it anymore. So we're going to get rid of that one. Uh, next is another big color story. 
I got this for the black and white. I remember that. And that one, which I used. And then I think that was all I bought it for. There is a really cute birthday one in here too, which is really cute. I would hate to get rid of that, but I haven't touched it, y'all. I'm going to get rid of this too. Next, what is next? Next is like a little like tiny booklet. These are like their five page ones. I was keeping this because it had really cute quotes and flowers in it, but I haven't used it in a while. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. We're doing okay so far. Doing okay. Uh, this is fairly new. This is the essential quotes they came out with not that long ago. I do dip into this quite a bit. So we're going to hold on to this. I really like this sticker book. Uh, next is happy quotes. This one's a lot older. I don't, I don't use this often. I'll probably end up getting rid of this. Uh, yeah, like you can see, like I've barely even touched this. I don't even know why I bought this sticker book, to be perfectly honest. It's not exactly, yeah, we're just, no, I already know. All right, next is another um, little four pack. This is still fairly new. I think I'm probably going to keep this one. It has some really pretty quotes in it. Like, look at the colors. I don't even think I've touched this yet. I really need to try and use it. This is really pretty. Yeah, I haven't even used it yet. This is the um, the Teresa quotes from when Teresa did like a collaboration with Happy Planner. This is cute. Uh, this is a mini travels from the old school wrong wrong. This is like a little five sheeter. I probably will keep most of the travel stickers I have only because Happy Planner hasn't come out like Oh, look how cute. Happy Planner hasn't come out with anything new travel-wise, really. They did come out with one. It, it's kind of squaggle or it, it's in what it's in one of these bins. You guys will see it. Um, that's sort of travel-y, but not really. Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Uh, this is the Bright Travel sticker book, and Happy Planner just recently um brought this out, as you can tell, because it's the new branding. Um, obviously I'm not getting rid of this. This is a really cute sticker book. I've already done one spread with it and I loved it. I will probably do another one. Most likely I do. I want to use this page. It's like a, um, a spa day. So yeah, I'm, I don't see myself getting rid of this sticker book anytime soon. So that one is a key. All right, moving along. This is a, uh, mini wrong, wrong travels. I, I keep these because of the girls. There's still, look how cute. There's still quite a bit of stickers in this. I need to remember that I have this. Look how cute. Okay, so we're gonna, there's a lot of girls still in this one. We're gonna hold on to that one too. This is the same one. It's just not mini. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to these. Like I said, they don't, there isn't a lot of travel sticker books and I wanna have as many as possible. This is the OG Happy Planner travel sticker book. I really want them to come out with another one just like this. Um, it has like it has the maps on it and the pins and stuff. I don't use this often, but it's got flight info. Um, there's some quotes in here. I use these a lot for my micros when I'm traveling or my dailies. As you can see, like as far as the functional stickers go, I've, I've been using them quite a bit, but there's still a lot left too. So I'm going to hold on to this because it's more functional based rather than decorative. So like I said, I was, I knew I was probably going to keep most of my travel stickers because that's all there is. All right. Now we're getting into the florals. I'm probably going to get rid of quite a bit here. This, we're going to start with this one. This one is beautiful blooms. This is fairly new it's not super old but this is the one with like the clear sheets with the florals on it I used this sticker book once and I absolutely despised the spread <laughs> it is my least favorite from this entire year that I've done which I was really bummed about because this is a super pretty book but I'm never gonna use it again so she's gone this one, this one's old. This is a colorful florals. This one's like super old. This came out years ago. Um, I do like it because of the letters and there's some black and white flowers in here. You can see I've digged into this, you know, a good amount, but I don't know if I'm going to use this. I'm going to, I'm going to create a maybe pile, like a think about it pile that can go in there. Um, this 
This came in a florals be happy box. I'm going to move myself here for a minute, you guys. Yeah, so this came in the a florals be happy box that I got a while ago. I feel like it was last year. It's really pretty, but I haven't used it. It's, I don't know, it's a little bit more mature and sophisticated than I typically like. So it, you could see I haven't even used it. So it's been sitting there forever. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Uh, this one. Okay, y'all story time. So I did a Mother's Day spread and it was blue themed because you guys all requested like a blue themed spread for Mother's Day. And I meant to use this and I totally forgot. This is the brand new um, fresh bouquet sticker book from the happy planner but it's all like mom stickers and I couldn't believe that I totally forgot to use the sticker book so this one is staying it's new and I love her and I will find a time to use this all right next sticker book is the garden flowers I bought this a while ago this is oh, two two years ago maybe lots of like realistic plants and vegetables I used to have a recipe planner actually I still do it's like down there hiding in the very bottom of that bin but um excuse my husband's pants <laughs> I haven't used it haven't been working in it and I bought this as you can see I bought this to do a chicken spread and I did do my chicken spread I completed it but that's it I haven't used it since I'm probably not going to use it um, I'm, I'm going to put it in the maybe pile for now and consider maybe putting it in the backup bin just if I ever need some weird like gardening vegetable type stickers. So the next floral book is this really pretty happy blooms. This is, I think it's fairly new. It's not super old. I've only used a little bit from it. I want to hold on to this because I really like this floral sticker book. It reminds me of live love posh. And I love Live Love Posh. This is one of the very few floral Happy Planner sticker books that I thought came really close to her stuff. So I really like this one. I'm going to hold on to that. And then believe it or not, this is another Happy Blooms. I don't know if <laughs> Happy Planner realized they did that, but there are two separate Happy Bloom sticker books. And this one has like plants and like more like OG. I've used this one a few times now. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use the rest of them. And we have this one, which I love a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm okay with that. Let love grow. Guys, I bought this because I thought it'd be, it would make like a super pretty wintry spread. And I don't think I've touched it. Like, look how like eerie, like, look at, this would make an awesome Halloween spread. The colors don't even do, like the colors that are coming through on the camera versus in person aren't even doing this any justice they're like dead flowers like that would make an awesome halloween spread but they came with boxes and washi tape it's really pretty i am gonna hold on to it i think i'm gonna make it an intention of mine to do a spread um maybe do like a dark like those dead flower spreads for halloween month and then another one for like winter like the purples and stuff we'll hold on to that next is la fleur she's so pretty this came out oh gosh the end of last year i want to say um i already did a spread with these stickers they're really pretty and i like the colors like of the boxes i feel like i would still really use the box like those functional boxes i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile for now because i'm i'm not sure if it'll ever become a thing that i use again Okay, this is Plant Mama. I bought this thinking that I would do a really cool spread with some of these stickers that are in here, but I never, I never did. I think I used like a couple of functional stickers in here, but that was it. Um, and I was going through a phase where I really loved like plants and like, I don't know, just that theme, that aesthetic. And I'm not really in that phase, I'm not in that era anymore. So I think we're going to get rid of her in the to-go pile she goes all right we're almost done with this bin the next one oh the next one is pressed flowers i love this one um i've used this quite a bit i have this and i have the accessory book i really love it because it has box like 
like vibrant colors and I don't know I just feel like I would probably still you, you guys see those right that's what I'm talking about I just feel like I would still probably use this this is the accessory book the matching accessory book I, I, I know I don't need both but if I remember correctly there were some different stickers in here too plus you've got all this all the uh post-it sticky notes over here let's so see yeah, those little flowers, I like those. And there's more boxes. I just feel like these are really functional and I like the bright colors. I'm still in like a bright color fun phase in my life. So I'm gonna hold on to both of them. I got rid of quite a bit from this bin. That's pretty good for me. So I'm okay with keeping those. And then we have one left. I have held on to the sticker book because of the color palette and the fact that there's a lot of clear, um, floral stickers where is it these ones like clear rose gold there's a lot of like neutral boxes I don't remember I had these see the black and white clear lined a lot of pretty like colors and I really love those quotes I have used this a couple of times and this is a maybe I'm not ready to decide on that yet all right so we've got the all done with these are going bye-bye the maybe need to think about it some more. And then these are the ones we're keeping. So we're gonna go ahead and put these back in the bin. And the way I usually organize this is quotes, travel, florals. I usually go like that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a lot of room now. We've made some progress there. Love it. Okay, so next up is the Seasonal Girls. Um, this is Seasonal and Girls, sorry. This one's going to be a hard one for me to get rid of. <laughs> um, the last box was pretty easy. I knew I wouldn't have too much of a difficult time with that one, but in this bin and in this bin, we have a lot of a lot of love, so it's going to be hard. I've also kept a lot of OG older sticker books, uh, just because of the mere fact that if I ever need them or if Happy Planner doesn't come out with anything similar again, I've held on to some of these through maybe three D stashes. That's a, that's a lot. So ah, this is going to be hard. <laughs> so first up, we have some accessory packs. This one is from Miss Maker. I don't know if you all remember Miss Maker, but this is super old. I've used this sticker book quite a few times, um, but I genuinely don't, like besides this one page, because you guys all know I love, let me see if I can get back there. I love these. And there was a time where I was pulling out sheets. Like I would pull out my favorite sheets and save them. And I, I would put them in my top. I have like a bin over here that has like random stickers in it. And I would just stick the sheets in there. I stopped doing that because the sheets were getting ruined or I would like forget about them. My memory's just not great, y'all. I think I'm done with it. Uh, it pains me to say, cause she's so cute, but I think I'm done. We're gonna say goodbye to her. All right, next up is a Squaw Girls accessory book. Do you guys think I'm getting rid of, rid of this? No. <laughs> um, I actually, I think I might've picked this up when they were purging them to have extra. Look how cute. I need to do more spreads with these because they're adorable. Look at the look at them. They're just so cute. And the colors in it, you can see I still have quite, look how cute that pink, quite a bit of boxes and girls in here. I have barely touched this. We are definitely holding on to them. OG squad girls for sure. So that's a keep. Next, we have one of Happy Planner's uh, collaborations that they did. This was a collaboration with Spoonful of Faith. And these stickers are very pretty. It's all about diversity. We've got some really fun letters in the back here. And one thing I really liked about the sticker book was like the unique color palette that they used. I'm just looking. So if I go quiet, oh, I like those flowers. So if I go quiet, that's probably why. Um, I'm, I might hold on to this. Look how little those stickers are. These would be great for like a mini spread or a daily spread. I might hold on to this, y'all. It's just really cute, and I haven't used it much, and I, I kind of want to be intentional and use it some more. So I think I might hold on to this one. We're gonna we're gonna keep that. All right, this is gonna get harder. 
I'm going to want to keep all these. Um, these are all the old school squad girl sticker books, all, all four of these. I had bought backups during the happy planner mega sale. They were having, I don't remember when it was, it was either the beginning of this year or the end of last year. And I was like, they had their squad girl sticker books on sale. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I need to buy extras. So let's just go ahead and look, look through these. We've got two different squad goals and then two squad lives. They're the same. So yeah, <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. All right. So this one, this one's classic. I think this might be the new one that I got. So it's probably pretty full. This might have been the one that I wasn't a huge fan of. I think it was because the color palette, it made it really hard to use the girls. This one is the one that matches this, this accessory book. And I don't know if I need both. I might stick this one in the maybe, in the maybe pile. Cause like, I'm, I probably will never use the fitness girls, even though they're cute. And I've used the business girl one so many times. I'm kind of over them. Yeah, we're going to, I just, I like, the, I like them. <laughs> we're going to put this in the maybe pile for now. All right. And then this is another squad goal sticker book. This is the, oh, okay. It's the mini. So it is similar ones. I kind of like this one better. I don't know why. Like I like the size of the boxes and the size of the girls. I feel like you get more too. I actually, and I like those flowers. Those flowers are really cute. All right, we're gonna keep this one and get rid of that one. That's good. I feel better about that. All right, these are both the same. The question is, do we keep them both or do we get rid of one? I love these flowers. I think this one might be the new one. Oh, look at how pretty. It is seasonal. That's another reason why I like them. I did a winter spread, I think, with these. Fall, look how cute. I really do like, and like the summer one has like, look how cute. I really do like the seasonal vibes in this. And I have different ones in different books. You can tell. This one I used fall a lot. I think I'm going to hold on to these. I really like these two. It's probably why I bought an extra one. <laughs> Keep. All right. The encourager. <sighs> the encourager. I love you, encourager. Here's my problem with the encourager. I absolutely love it every time I flip through it. Every time. I have continued to hang on to this sticker book. And do you guys think I've made a spread with it yet? No. <sighs> what do I do with you? This is the mini. Oh yeah, look, that's how it came. Cut when I bought it offline. Isn't that nice, guys? Um, look how look how cute these stickers are. Why look it? Why haven't I used this? Look how cute. This happens to me every time, y'all. Every look at those boxes. Every freaking time. The quotes. It's a date. I need to use. I need to make a spread. I've used those, apparently. Look, did you guys see those? Like, come on. It's just so stinking cute. <gasps> like, that could have been a cute... Like, and then they've got these. Am I really hanging on to this still? I think I am. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. We'll think about it some more later. All right, and then we're getting in... This is all seasonal, y'all. I just need a whole bin for seasonal like oh my god all right let's see if we can get rid of any of this <laughs> first up is just straight christmas i think this is fairly new i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of this oh yeah because this one has a lot of my favorite colors in it it's not too overrun by pink i mean there is still pink in it but there's a lot of other colors in it too very og classic vintage christmas yeah this one's a definite keep Okay, the next one is Cheerful Seasons. This is like a mixed seasonal sticker book. Um, okay, okay. Oh, some of the fall stickers. Oh, that's cute. The fall stickers in here are really adorable. I haven't even touched them. Oh, we have some back to school that I could use still. 
beach for the summer, whatever was on there, I've completely used it. <laughs> yeah, the summer ones are okay. The spring's just okay. The Valentine's one's cute, but I'm, eh, I'm not really a fan of it either. Okay, so really the only thing I love in this is the fall stuff. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile only because I have other fall stickers in here. So, uh, this is the mini Christmas joy. I have had this for forever. Yeah, this is very old. You can tell it's like old school happy planner. I'm sure just by me flipping through it. The one thing I really love, I'm probably done with this. I probably don't need it anymore. I've used it so many times. The one thing I did love about this though, is all of the sheet words that they have in here. So there's this one, and then there's this one. I probably don't need to keep it, though. Like, sometimes I want to keep these sheets just, just because. <laughs> but this is literally all Christmas, and I don't think I need it, so goodbye. All right, next up, this is Fall Harvest. This was a sticker book that, here, I have... I have this one too. Um, these were a line. They did a, collab a collaboration with, oh, I forget who the collab was with, but it reminded me of Plan Anything, old school Plan Anything stickers. Like, look at how beautiful. You guys know I'm not getting rid of this, right? Like, this is a keep. So pretty. There was even like a random Halloween one in there. Gorgeous stickers. I love this sticker book so much. And then this was like a mini, a mini one that came with it. So I'm definitely holding on to both of these. I really like those. Halloween. I don't even know why I'm going to flip through this because y'all, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this sticker book. There's so many fun Halloween stickers in here that I haven't even like scratched the surface with yet. I definitely can get one more season out of this. So we're going to hold on to that. Homebody seasons. It's probably going to go. I bought it with the intention of really trying to like use the stickers because I thought it would be like just different, you know, but I barely used it. Not my favorite. This was from the Valentine's Day Be Happy box. Such a cute box that I got. Um, I, I think I did an unboxing of it. I'll put a link for it of it for you guys up in an iCard as well as down below. So you can go and see that, um, me opening that sticker book, that, that happy box can't talk today. <laughs> um, but I really love this sticker book. It's really cute. It will definitely last me at least another two spreads. So we're going to hold on to that too. You don't see these every day. All right. We're doing okay. Not great. I'm, I've kept quite a bit. I've gotten rid of a few, but, I uh, we've got a lot more. So this one is merry and bright. This is the Christmas sticker book that the Happy Planner came out with that had so much pink. And I really loved it at first. I think I've done a few spreads with it. I've used some sticker boxes and sticker, like clear stickers for it. But it's so much. It, it's so much. It's it's just a lot. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like some of these are cute. But there's only so many times you can repeat the same spread. I think I'm over it. We're going to say bye. This one is just Seasons. This one came out, I think, last... What was it? Last spring? I think it was. We've got a really cute... Some really cute fall and Halloween stickers in here. This is really fun. That would make a cute summer spread. Oh, there's lots of cute summery stuff in here. I've used... There was 4th of July stickers in here. I used them all. But this is cute. There's still quite a bit of cute stickers in this. We got some more back to school. Some Easter I never touched. I used the Easter section in this for my Easter monthly. And then just some spring. What's this one? Yeah, spring. So I used it quite a bit. But I feel like there's still some stickers in here that I could use. I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer, I think. All right, so this is Seasonal Type. This was a seasonal sticker book that came out during a back-to-school release. I don't know if it was last year's or the year before. I can't remember, but this is the big version. And I, you can see I haven't really used it. I've used like a couple of stickers from it, but I'm not really in love with it much anymore. So we're going to say goodbye to that too. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling a little bit better now. 
now that we've kind of gotten rid of what two or three in the last like two minutes this is my seasonal stick babe sticker book i always hold on to this because there might just be a day where i want to use one of my fun or funny little stick babe girls they're just cute i don't think they're ever going to make them again and i just think it's something good to have all right next is a brand new one this is the new classic uh stickers seasonal whimsy like I said, you can tell it's a new sticker book because of the rebranding. I don't even, I've used some of the letters, but I don't think I've used anything else from this yet. Look how cute. I want to do a spread with these fruits. It's adorable. Just a lot of cute stickers in here. I'm excited to use it. So this one is definitely a keep. Just got it. Summer Vibes. I have held on to this sticker book for three years, I think, you guys. This is a really old sticker book. <laughs> I just I just love the color palette. Look, look at those letters. Look how cute. The palm trees. I think it's the palm trees that keep me from getting rid of it. Because do I genuinely think I'm going to use any of these? No. Like, I'm, like... I'm pretty much over it. There's a lot of cute quotes in here, but yeah, I think we're, I think we're, I think it's time. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> All right. And then the last one, winter, this sticker book is so cute. Um, I bought it for the sloths though. Not going to lie. And I've already used them. I feel like there's a lot of other cute stickers in here, though, still. And there's no pink, which is why I really loved it. There's, like, well, barely any pink. I think that's why. But you can see I've, I've used this thing to the bone. Empty. Empty. We've got some lights that are gone. Some trees that are gone. Some of those. A couple quotes. Some boxes that are gone. I use some of the sweaters, more boxes, quotes that are gone, quotes that are gone, quotes that are gone. <laughs> it's she's empty. This is kind this is empty for me. I'll never use those. I think I'm getting rid of it. That page was empty too. It's gone. We did it, y'all. We finally got through the seasonal and girls bin. <laughs> I only set aside a couple. I'm really proud too. I'm really proud of myself. All right, let's get these back in the bin. All right. Wow. Look at how empty. You guys, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're on our last one, and this one's probably going to be the hardest. I recently got a few... A couple new squad girls obviously those are gonna have to go in that in that bin but um happy planner just released their back to school line for 2023 2024 a year and there's actually a few sticker books that are really really cute that i want to pick up plus i also know the fall when that fall release comes fall releases are the death of me so we gotta make room. This is gonna be hard. I haven't, I'm gonna like be completely honest with you guys for a minute. I haven't really been using my Happy Planner stickers very often. I've been digging in to Live Love Posh, my Passion Planner stuff, and even the Recollection stickers that are in that, that are in that cube over there. So I feel like that's why I'm able to purge these a lot easier than I usually am. But these are the newest, like I, like it says, newest and most loved. So we'll see how this is going to go. <laughs> I have to be logical though. If I haven't used it or if I genuinely don't think I'm going to go into it, I need to just let it go no matter how cute I think it is. So first up is the 90s sticker book. This came out in the fall the fall release I think um in 2020 look how cute I forgot these were even in here see this is also what happens when you have too many you forget about the the stuff you really love and I have to not do that <laughs> like this is gonna make us such a cute spread I also love daisies lots of retro vibes these would make some really cute daily spreads hint hint nudge nudge stay tuned for my July lineup y'all um, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the video game stuff, but I love the checkered stuff. Look how cute these little washi strips are. I haven't even, I don't even think I've done a spread and they have it in different colors. 
These are really cute. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I haven't even touched it and I need to because I really love this sticker book. So we're definitely going to hold on to that. And then hopefully by me getting rid of some more and getting rid of all those, it'll, it'll guide me into going into the things that I really want to use. This is the All the Feel sticker book. I've had this for, oh my gosh, a couple of years now, I want to say. I think, oh my gosh, look, my nails match the smiley faces. I don't love it as much as I used to. I bought it because I felt like it would be like a really good um, self-care sticker book. I haven't been journaling though, and that's probably why I haven't gone into it, but I don't necessarily want to get rid of it just yet. So I think I might move this into my backup bin that's over there and stick it in the maybe pile for now because I feel like this might be really good for journaling still. So, um... Because, like, I don't dislike it enough to really get rid of it, but I also don't want to keep it in this bin anymore. So we're going to move this over here. Next up is the black and white sticker book. I legit have just been hanging on to this because it's black and white stickers. And whenever I need, like, black and white and I can't think, I know I can just jump into this sticker book. Uh, this was bought and purchased for neutral spreads, and I literally have just been using it as, like, a backup. I almost wonder if I should move this sticker book into my colorful boxes bin cube that's over there because I feel like that's how I use it. I don't even really use it as a full spread sticker book. It's just like if I need black or gray, I know I can go into this. I think I might put this in the maybe pile and move that over there. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking. It doesn't need to be in this bin. Next up is Bold and Bright. This is another one that came out in that fall release with the 90 sticker book. Another one that I really love that I haven't used really. I used it once and I want to do more because I absolutely love this sticker book. It's so stinking cute. So we're going to hold on to that. Okay, this one is one of the new ones you can see from the branding. This is the Celestial Elegance and I bought a lot maybe not a lot but uh if you guys didn't see my celestial elegance collection video i did when i did my fall release purchase i will link that in an icard above as well as down below in the description box you can go and see the full um flip through of all of this but i haven't done a spread with this either i've kind of been saving it and been hoarding it because it's just so pretty <laughs> but i really need to make a spread with this um we're going to be going to salem for Father's Day weekend next week, maybe I uh, maybe that's maybe next week will be the week that I do a spread in this. So definitely a keep. Okay, this one is colorful animal. I can't remember if this was in this past fall release or if it was from before that. I genuinely don't remember. Um, is this a big? I feel like this might be a big, even though it doesn't say big. No, maybe not. No, it's not. I really liked this sticker book when it came out, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I really, really want to use to use this sticker these stickers and I did a spread with it and I haven't done another one since so I think as cute as it is it's so cute though like I love these leopard prints I feel like I could do a spread with all that leopard but I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna use it I'm gonna stick it in the maybe pile for now okay this one is a colorful this one is called colorful things I found this randomly on clearance at Joann's like, I didn't even know that this sticker book existed until I went into, not Joanne, sorry, Hobby Lobby. I found this at Hobby Lobby randomly one day. And I fell in love with the colors and, like, the shapes and the boxes. Like, I just thought it was so cute. Um, but I haven't touched it since I did, like, a one spread with it. It's really cute, though. I don't know. Another maybe. <laughs> Oh no, the maybe pile's catching up with the to-go pile. We gotta fix this. Okay, so this one is colorful water, uh, cosmic watercolor, sorry. This came out, oh my gosh, a long time ago. And it's it's old. It's a couple years old. And it's a really pretty, it's like, look how different those stickers are. Like, you don't really see this anymore with Happy Planner. Um, I Look how, look, I haven't even touched those. I feel like this would go really pretty with, that sticker book like I could combine them I also am like a huge like mystical Salem vibes kind of girl I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this yet it's so cute I need to use it more we're gonna we're gonna 
and say yes. Cozy Critters. This is new. I wasn't even going to buy this. It came out the fall release of 2022. I wasn't even going to buy this. And then I saw Planning with Bumble do a spread with these stickers. And then I saw it at Joann's and I just grabbed it. I already have done a spread with these. It came out so cute. But the and it reminds me of like Secret Life of Pets like so much. It's so fun. But I don't really think I'm ever going to do another spread with these. I really don't. I did my one spread. It came out really cute. And I just need to. It's a no. Which is sad because it's newer. All right. So next up is Friendship. This one. I don't even. When did this come out? Is this really that new? Maybe I was just keeping it because I really liked the colors. Told you this box was going to be hard, you guys. These are really cute. I know I did a spread with this a couple years ago. It was. This is an old sticker book. There's a lot of cute quotes on this page. Maybe I could cut that page out. Because I don't think I'm going to hold on to this. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Um, It's really cute. But I just don't think I'm ever going to use this. I have other ones I love more. I just really like these quotes. All right. So I ripped that sheet out. I am going to save this sheet. I really like this sheet. Um, It can be used for any spread. It's all different kinds of quotes on it. It's not just one type of thing like the Christmas ones were. And I can put those over there in my journaling pack. So I'm going to keep the sheet, but I am going to get rid of the sticker book. Girl power. Every time I go through a purge, I always end up keeping this sticker book, you guys, because I'm just obsessed with it so much. I love the uh, sharpness of the colors in this one. How cute. A lot of boxes, functional boxes in this one. I think I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and then maybe put it in that back bin. I don't need it in here anymore because I don't think I'm going to reach for it as much as I used to. But I don't necessarily want to get rid of it yet. Okay, so this is Happy Life. This is another clearance. I mean, another random sticker book that I found at uh, Hobby Lobby that I didn't know existed. Apparently, that's a thing for Hobby Lobby. Um, this one has a lot of bright like super bright, fun, colored stickers and sticker boxes. Look how cute those letters are with the offset. I don't even think I've used this yet. I probably should. It has a lot of quotes in it. I almost wonder if I should put this with the quotes. It's almost all quotes. It really is. There's a few functional stickers in there and some letters and numbers, but a lot of quote stickers. Hmm. I'm going to think about it because it may not be a new sticker book, but it's new to me. This might be one to put with the quotes. I need to, I need to set this one aside and think about that. Okay. The I love stickers sticker book. I don't even think I've used this yet and I really need to. This came in the, um, I love stickers, happy planner box. I bought it and I was obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's got the funnest stickers. Okay, I have you some. I look how cute. Oh, yes. I use this to make my pop century spread. That was really cute. I think I think I did a plan with me on that. If I did, I'll link it for you guys. These are adorable. These are a definite keep and they are staying in this. I definitely could do another fun spread with like hot sauce. That would be so fun. All right, so that's a keep. Believe it or not, guys, we're doing okay. Like, this is all I've kept for this bin. We're doing pretty good, y'all. All right, Marabou Designs. This was another collaboration that Happy Planner did. This was a collaboration with Brandy Brown. That's her on the back there. These are really pretty. I really love these stickers, and I need to use them more. Like, I think I could do, like, an awesome New Year's spread with this. A lot of, like, celebratory stickers see how cute and the color palette is different i think i had another one and i used it and then i bought a second one i think that's what ended up happening that's why it looks like i haven't even touched this yet i'm definitely going to keep this i want to make it an intention of mine to do a spread with those all right y'all this is modern bookish i had originally bought like a mini sheet of this and i really liked it and i bought the planner for it Never use the planner, purge the planner. Then um, I used the mini pack once and then I was done with it. I purged that and I was still kind of missing it. So I went back and I bought this. Now, the reason why I love this modern bookish, this isn't new, but I really love the realistic photos and like the newspaper. I thought it would be great for journaling. 
and doing my like junk journal spreads and I really do love it like I'm going through this and I'm like oh this is such a pretty book um if I ask myself am I ever because this came out with the teacher stuff am I ever going to use it the answer is probably no however there is a new planner I'm going to try and start in July that I might use this for I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Maybe that'll be another one that we move to over there once we purge that box. Next is Modern Wild. I have a, like a few of these. I have another wild one back there somewhere too, I think. I don't remember when this came out. I don't want to say it's new. I really loved these, like the quotes and the letter stickers. It reminds me of Lion King. Have I not used this at all? I don't think I have. This must be newer. Because I don't even think I've touched this yet. This is really pretty. I need to use this. Yeah, I haven't even touched this. This would make an awesome, like, Lion King spread. <sighs> All right, we're going to keep her. I haven't even used it. Another book that we need to be intentional about. <laughs> All right, next up is Modern Meow. She's so cute. I love the kitties in here. Look how adorable they are. I could not resist this sticker book. I was absolutely obsessed with it. I did a spread with it. I don't think I'm ready to like get rid of this yet. I really do like it. I miss having a kitty, but I can't have a kitty because my daughter's allergic. So it just gives me like when I'm missing my my old cat duchess. I don't know. I don't get me wrong, guys. I like I like dogs, but I miss my cat. I think I'm gonna keep it in this in this pile. All right, this one's Modern Year. I bought this one two years ago, but I kept it because of the colors. It's very neutral. And you know, we don't have a lot of sticker books with like tans and rose gold and things like that. It's just super functional. So I almost wonder if this is another one I could put over there. But I also have the new neutral sticker book from Mojo Jojo and I don't necessarily need this. I might get rid of this. It's really, it's really pretty, but I don't know. I think I might be okay. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. We're going to get rid of it. Oh, this is a definite keep. This is Papillion. Uh, this came out last year and I bought the color stories for it and then fell in love with it so much. I needed the whole book. Look at how gorgeous. I am planning on doing a spread in September with this. So that's why, like, I am, I, I do have a thought in mind. But I love this so much. It also reminds me of my great-grandmother. Uh, so that's a keep for sure. All right, next is a couple of mini stickers. Um, this one is pastel tie-dye. And this one is the new smiley. This one I'm definitely keeping. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet. This is so fun it's so cute I wish that they had come out with like a full sticker book like this but um you can see it's new because of the new branding uh, I really love this one and like I said this is pastel tie-dye I bought it never used it don't think I'm ever going to use it so all right this one is called so much happy this is really old, I think. This is a memory keeping sticker book. I don't know why I'm holding on to this. Why am I holding on to this, y'all? Probably this because of all the quotes. That's probably why. Lots of quotes. Don't, nope, nope, nope. I have plenty of gold. Those, yeah, okay, those colors are pretty. More quotes, more quotes, more quotes. Those are cool. Okay, so there's a lot of quotes in here maybe sunshine vibes this is brand new you can tell by the new branding and this one I just used it's so cute I love it so much it's so much fun look at all those retro bright colors so my era right now that's a keep and then this is another new one that I absolutely absolutely am obsessed with I did a spread with it I didn't do a plan with me video so sorry I don't have that to share with you guys but these stickers in this one, the colors, y'all, it's just such a beautiful sticker book. I can't wait to do another spread with these. I just am obsessed with these right now. So that's a keep as well. Almost to the end, y'all. We've got two more. This one is wellness. This is older. I've had this for quite a while with the intention of using it for like self-care um and habit tracking but I'm not really a fan of the color palette anymore 
So we're going to say goodbye to that. Here's the other wild one. This one is Wild Plans. This one's still fairly new. Definitely a different color palette than the other one. I feel like I need to compare this one with that one. Hold on, y'all. All right, so as you can see, two completely different color palettes. This one is more nature, rustic, like neutrals. And then this one is more fun and pastel -y. I'm just doing like quick flips to see what I'm thinking. I definitely think I like this one better. So we're going to keep this one and we'll still think about that one. <laughs> All right, we're empty. Let's put these back in the bin and then we'll tackle the maybe pile. All right, y'all, we did pretty good. Like, that's really decent. I thought I was gonna keep more. So I'm actually really proud of myself for what I did do. So, all right, cool. Okay, so let's recap really quick. This is where I store those three bins on this little shelf next to my messy desk, don't mind it. Um, and it was, it was really full before. And now I feel like I have, like, this is good. Like, I'm really proud of myself, y'all. And that's my, those are my two little stacks over there. Um, this one is the one I'm thinking about putting in the quotes section over there. Uh, we'll see. And then this is the maybe pile. And then this is the ones I'm getting rid of. I guess we'll go ahead and tackle this one next just because if I want to keep the some of those, I got to be able to get rid of some of those. And those ones are directly going to be going into the get rid of pile. So this might be hard too. <laughs> oh, and just so you guys know, I do have an extra sticker bin. So my, my Disney stickers are kind of overflowing here. And these are all the big, large sticker books that I don't have like a bin to fit them in. And then we've got some stuff going on over here. So I'm keeping that empty for the possibility of my Disney sticker stash becoming a big thing because I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get rid of many of these and more I'm sure will be coming in the future. So I'm trying not to use that bin as another backup bin if you get to my drift. <laughs> All right, so this bin isn't fully filled up yet, so there is still space, but I'm going to be like completely 100% honest with y'all, and that's a fact that I think I've maybe reached into this, look at the dust, <laughs> um, I think I've maybe reached into this backup bin once, maybe twice since creating it, so I genuinely haven't touched most of these, you can tell. I mean, look at the dust on there, y'all, but we're going to go ahead and just start. <laughs> so this first one is um, bright type. I kept this, I think, because I just really liked the colors and the quotes, but looking through it now, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. So goodbye. This is Colorful Leopard. This was the very first like leopard themed sticker book that Happy Planner came out with. And I really loved like all the quotes in here. I also liked the leopard like prints like you can see there's a lot in here but I've moved I'm thinking about moving some of those into this pile and just like going through this I don't think I'm ever going to use it it's very pattern based it's just a lot of leopard so goodbye colorful leopard all right this next one is super old this oh my gosh three four four years ago maybe um, this is glitter paint and I bought this sticker book for my daughter actually because I knew she would really like it and she used she used a good amount of it the reason why I was holding on to it is because the colors in here are just crazy cool and like the patterns are really different um has a little bit of like a starry like a young like space feel to it it's just really different and I did do a spread with these once in my daily and I was obsessed with it I'm gonna stick this in the maybe pile because this is what's eventually going to become the backup bin. Because I'm not quite sure. This is really old. And I don't know if they're ever going to come out with a sticker book like that again. And I'm not sure if I really want to get rid of that. Okay, next is a goals one. This was another one that I got to do like 
tracking and like habit tracking and uh, journaling and things like that. It's extremely functional. That's probably why I held on to it for so long. But I have so many books with these types of things in it. Um, you can tell like I barely touched it and I still haven't touched it. So we're going to say goodbye. All right. Next up is Good Vibes. This one's really fun. This was a sticker book that came out with one of the teacher student releases, like the back to school releases. Um, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> it's really fun, but I think I have plenty of others to make up for this and I'm not going to use it. I do like this sticker sheet. Like you can see, I've used a couple of stickers from it, but that was it. I don't know. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh no, our trash pile fell over. Not trash. Get rid of. Sorry. We're going to have to make a second one. This is good. We're getting rid of all of these. Sorry, my camera. My camera skills are, are really slacking today. Okay, well, good enough. <laughs> all right, next from our bin is Happy Plans. This one is really pretty. I recently purged this and moved it to this bin. So I'm not really sure if I'm ready to get rid of it yet. It's just got really pretty soft colors. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. So that's a definite for this box. All right, another one that I recently got. This was in a happy box that I got. Um, it's called Happy and Grateful. It's really nice for journaling. Um, and it has a really pretty neutral color palette. Like you can see it. Um, I've used it once. Am I going to use it again? Probably not. As pretty as it is. Goodbye. All right, next are my Jungle Vibes. <laughs> so all three of these are from the Jungle Vibes collection. Um, the reason I'm holding on to these is because I don't want them in my like most picked sticker books bin, but I also don't think I'm ever going to get rid of them because they're just so fun. They give me hardcore Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Jungle Cruise vibes, and I feel like I could recreate a lot of spreads with this. You can see I have a lot of stickers still in here. Same thing with the regular classic size. There's just a lot of stickers in here that I could definitely reach into. And then this is the um, the little five pack that came with it too. And I still have some animals in here. I'm just not ready to get rid of any of these yet. So uh, we're definitely going to hang on to those. I'm not getting rid of those. Uh, next is the Neutral Jungle uh, five-page sticker sheet. Really cute, really pretty stickers. Those are pretty. Those are kind of cool. But I don't think I'm ever going to touch this. So is that it? Yeah. We're going to say goodbye to that one too. All right, we're almost there. Oh, this is Playful Tile. So this isn't that old, but I did a spread with it, and it was so much fun. I had a lot of fun making that spread. And the colors in it are just gorgeous. Like, look at those vibrant colors. They're so pretty. They're so sharp. Um, and I think that's why I didn't want to get rid of this, because I thought maybe one day I would recreate another spread with it. I think I might still keep it. I just love it too much to get rid of it yet. That's kind of how I work, you guys, if you've noticed. Like, eventually I get to a point where I'm like, I'm good. You know? And then when I know, I know. But this one is just really pretty, and I do feel like I might reach back for it at some point or want to reach back for it, so I'm going to keep that one. Simply lovely. Oh, simply lovely. She's an oldie, y'all. I have had such a hard time letting her go. I don't even know what to say about this sticker book right now. It's so pretty. Like, look at Every time I flip through it, I'm like, she's gorgeous. I cannot get rid of her. And I generally don't think I'm going to. Like, I really think I'm just going to keep hanging on to it for forever. Like, they're just so fun and so different and so pretty. Like, look. Look at those flowers. They're very live, love, posh. I just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to get rid of it, you guys. I almost wonder if I should put this back in my most loves. Because I really do love this sticker book. And I haven't touched it because it's been in this bin. I feel like if it was over there... Maybe I would make another spread with this. We might have to move her back to the most loved. We might have to, y'all. She's going there. All right, next is Stronger Together. I really loved these stickers. They had a lot of girl stickers in them, and I found this on clearance at Joann's, I think. And because it's on clearance, 
and I had used my old one up like crazy, I wanted it for the girls. I wanted another one, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think I might be good. I think I'm ready to say goodbye. All right, next we have another wellness planning sticker book. This one, the colors in here are really cool. They're very different. Um, it's got a cool like pattern to them. Very habit tracker based. Um, might be good for journaling in the future, but I, I, I'm, I think I'm okay. I don't even know why I really bought that, to be honest. <laughs> And then the last two are my Womankind stickers. These are beautiful. I did a lot of spreads with these in the past when this first, when this line first came out. It's very old. They're just really cute, fun stickers. I think that the color palettes are really fun. They've got some really cute quotes. There's some birthday stickers in there. Um, and then this is the accessory book. Ooh, oh, that stinks. Looks like a little notepad that came with it fell out. Um, I actually really love the accessory book quite a bit. It still has the flowers in there that I used to love. Some quotes, some boxes in there too. I'm almost wondering if maybe I should just keep the accessory book and get rid of this. I don't know. But then this one's got like checklists and I don't know. What do you guys think? Wish you could talk to me. I think I'm going to get rid of the regular sticker book and just keep the accessory book. I think that's all I need. Wow, we did it. <laughs> all right so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the ones that I'm definitely keeping back in the bin and then we're going to tackle this pile this is going to take me a while so I think I'm going to go through since I already like kind of went through all this with you guys I'm going to do this off camera uh give myself some quiet space to make final decisions and then I'll come back and show you what I chose right, so I finalized my stack I also decided that I'm going to use this one and that like the one that was like a memory planning one for quotes i think i'm gonna put that in the bin that's over there for quotes and then this is what i kept sorry i know the video is shaky um this is what i kept for my backups so i kept the encourager i kept modern bookish i kept Le Fleur, even though i'm not a hundred percent sure i'm gonna use it again um and i picked um glitter paint Believe it or not, I know that one is super old, but I don't know. I just feel like I could make another spread or two from that. And then Girl Power and All the Feels. So I did keep Modern Bookish too because I feel like that one and All the Feels will be really good for journaling. And I'm not, I don't want to let them go. So I am going to put these in this bin and then we'll be all done with our backup bin. <music> And there's our backup bin. Still got plenty of room, which is great. Look at all the ones we got rid of, y'all. Wow. I honestly thought I was going to have such a hard time with this, you guys. But I'm really proud of myself. I've done really, really well. I have no idea how long this video is going to be or how long I've been sitting here doing this. I do get hyper-focused. So I hope that this video isn't too, too long for y'all. But maybe we have time to do the Disney stuff. Hmm. Let's put this away first. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I just went back and looked at the time frame on the uh, timestamps for all the different clips to put together this video for you. And I decided that I'm not going to do the Disney D stash. Why is my lighting awful? Um, I'm not going to do the Disney sticker D stash in this video. But what I might do is I might do a part two and put it up on a Disney on a fantasy Fridays, that, that might be really fun. So uh, stay tuned for that because I do, I do have to de-stash those stickers there. They're, they're, it's getting crazy. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gives you some confidence and maybe a little bit of oomph to get you to de-stash some of your stickers. I clearly needed to de-stash. I clearly needed to purge. I could not believe how much I got rid of y'all. Like I was just like ready to say goodbye to stuff. Like get out of here. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video and checking out my channel. I would love it if you joined and became a part of my planning fam stands for Disney planner family by hitting the subscribe button down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning and stay magical.